I'm on a road trip from Stockholm to the far north of Sweden to see all kinds of weird and wonderful things along the way. For 15 years, people have been wondering about this uh, Chinese uh, temple and pagoda that's visible from the highway. It's a really weird story behind all of this. It starts in the 80s and it's filled with uh, tales of corruption and bribes and, uh, well, hopeless dreams. Oh, look at this guy. Isn't he cute? Oh, I'm gonna pet him a bit. Hmm, is he? he has a ball in his mouth. Oh, it's loose. Look. <laughs> well, it certainly looks better than the derpy lion at Gripsholm Castle. Oh, wow. This place is actually pretty spectacular. Look around. Bloody hell. I wonder what's inside. Can I go inside? I think so. Let's explore. The grandeur of China. So cool. It's a hundred meter long painting of Chinese cities and landscapes and uh, well, just showing off the splendor of China. There's really some marvelous scenes here. I'd love to visit all of these places actually. I've just been to a couple of places in China so far. The painting just keeps on going. Bloody hell, this is long. I think it's actually the longest bas relief in the world. So yeah, here's a world record for you. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> we finally reached the end. So which province is going to be the final one? Let's have a look. Ah, it's Tibet. I'm not going to touch that. Nope. Oh, look at this. These are copies of the terracotta warriors at Xi'an. I think there are 200 of them here. Oh, look at them. The details are magnificent. I've never been to Xi'an, but a colleague of mine went there. He lost his wallet and uh, we made him pole dance for us before we would lend him money so he could buy food. We're not really good people, are we? <laughs> oh, look at the tiny horses here. Oh, so cute. Oh, well, let's wave goodbye to the terracotta warriors. Goodbye, because there's more to see here. I've actually never been here before now, so it's about time. Ah, oh, isn't this adorable, a group of animals. Let's have a look at the pandas and the horses. And uh, what is that? Deer, I guess. So I'm just gonna touch the panda's ball a little bit. It's a little bit far from the sea here. The Dragon Gate Hotel, it's a pretty big one with no people sleeping in it. There was another hotel here back in 1986, but it went bankrupt in 1988, and then it became an immigration shelter. In 1992, the place was sold to a Swedish businessman who called the place Checkpoint Dalälven. And then in 2004, the place was sold to a Chinese millionaire who made his fortune selling mosquito repellent. The name was changed to Dragon Gate, and that's when they started building, well, all of this. In the 80s and 90s, there were lots of scandals about the hotels at this place, with uh, bribes and corruption and all that jazz. And apparently the scandals continued with a Chinese owner. Bribes, illegal construction, everything that could have gone wrong, went wrong. The plan was first of a meeting place for a Chinese and Swedish businessmen, but uh, in 2008 the place was uh, half finished, then they changed plans a little bit. They thought, yeah, we're gonna have a hotel and a restaurant and a Shaolin temple and a museum and a kung fu school and everything. Over the years it was supposed to have multiple openings, but it was delayed every time. And in 2016 the owner said that he's gonna shut down the place, but uh, then he changed his mind two weeks later. Eventually he did get tired of the Swedish bureaucracy though, and in 2018 he finally left Sweden. It was sold to a new owner in 2018, and it's rumored that people have been spending the night at the hotel. But I'm not so sure about that. Cause uh, this sign says that you can still be the first one to stay at Dragon Gate. Here's the goddess of mercy. Let's pray that she has mercy on this hotel. Should I leave an offering? I just have old gum wrappers. I don't think that would be appreciated. There are so many cool details here. Like this incense burning spot, whatever it is. 
I actually have no idea. I can't read Chinese, but I'm guessing it says something like Abandon hope, all ye who build something here. Who knows, maybe one of these years this hotel might finally get some guests. Apparently this place is used for concerts and events sometimes. I need to check that out. Well, that's the story behind Dragon Gate in Sweden. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, but most importantly, have a great day.